So, as I was saying, the case is giving me grief, and then something happened, and the recording stopped, and things did not go well from there. All right, I'm just going to peek inside here for a moment, because I think... Yeah, everything else inside here is indeed socketed. Which means it's always possible that there is some other deficiency. So I think what I'm going to do is move this camera down. And perhaps I can lean it down a bit. There we go. And we'll look in to the BB BBS pit. And pull this machine out of it. I'll turn it back on for one second. Make sure it's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right. And put up the hood. And I still don't know why. Something must be bent on this way. It doesn't want to let me in. Anyway, all right. I think I can zoom. There we are. So, this machine, the BBBS pet has not been turned on at all. The other machine is not on. So what we're going to do, it, it's, it's kind of almost working, the other machine. And I know it's, it's difficult when you're taking things out of things and you don't know what's working, but we'll get there. So I have just removed a chip. And what is it? Says he. It's dusty, that's what it is. Even with glasses on. Maybe is it upside down? 6520. Okay. I'm going to take ooh, this light that I got, which has a magnetic thing, which I don't like using around computers, but you know. So I'm going to pop out the same chip on this other machine that I just took out. And I'm going to set it carefully aside so I know what it is and which way it goes in. And I'm going to put the 6520 from the BB 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 yes, pet in. And I'm going to turn this pet on and see what happens. Okay, we still have a flashing picture. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, we don't need the light in there. I'm going to close this machine. up a bit and we'll unzoom and flip this up and flip this over and pull this up and we'll see that now this is flashing and the keyboard is responding. Oops, except it's probably still needs. Work. As in a little banging, but also a little um, 
cleaning. Oh, we didn't get the tea. Go to ten. Run. Run. So there we have. The world of Commodore is running. And I will leave that to test for some time. So, and I will update my notes of definitely what I have in front of me here. Uh, first, if lots of strange keyboard issues. Second, 6520. Taken. From B B B B B B S hit keyboard working. Okay. All right, so I'll leave that there to test for a while. Here is boy, it is still. Even in bright light. Just a second here. Even in very bright light. It is tough to see. So this is MOS MPS 6520 made the 13th week of 1980. But definitely, and I'm looking at the pins, they all look fine. Um, and I don't think there's... Uh, anyway, basically what we have here is... There's no way you can see that. I don't think... Let's see here. I'll put on the bright light. I'll hold it up here. Aim it down there. I really don't think that that is... Anyway, no. That was... A wasted effort. Anyway, I'm going to set this chip on the front of this pet. And I will leave it there. So now, um, it's funny how, you know, the BBS pet is now helping this one come to life. There we go. Ah, the world of Commodore. So, but this is good. It's okay swap things around it is I'm gonna move this up a hair and I'm gonna zoom a little bit I think if I can I thought I could zoom why not zoom oh maybe I gotta go the other way Ooh. anyway um because now it would seem that in front of me is this rusty old pet that has some funny looking chips inside and other stuff, but it does seem to be working. And reports have it that the BBBBS pet does not work. So I have found one bad chip for sure. Um, I have not tried this with other things, but certainly anything that's working is good. And this one does have. Um, I don't remember all uh, if everything's in sockets or some things are in sockets, but sockets are helpful. Not that we can't desolder. We can. We can desolder. It's fine. It's just fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave this to run and test, etc., etc., etc. And I'm not going to dig into the uh, the other pet over here. This machine here, it says on the front of it, PET 2001 series, it's it, it's a 16K machine. And it has, as I pointed out, it has had holes drilled in the circuit board. And um, it has not been upgraded since then. But that's okay. It doesn't need to be. At least right now, it is functioning. And eventually, I'm sure, this machine, as well as the other... Um, oh wait, or is this, wait a second, I'm mixing these machines up. This is not the 4016 that had the holes drilled. That was another one. This one is a 32K machine. 
Never mind what I just said. Anyway, at some point, this machine and the 4016 will help in getting the BBS PEP up and working. Not yet, but it will. So, it's funny, this is not at all what I was expecting to start on, but it's okay. I'm just going to read burn in and I don't know what time it is well, I should be able to find it hey Google what time is it it's 524 p.m. 524 p.m. I'll just mark that down anyway I'm gonna leave this on and with it run and run and run and run and run because if something's gonna fail I would want it to fail and I will continue to tinker and putter. I should, of course, write out um, information on the BBS pen. So I will grab some paper. It's important, especially with this many machines, you gotta keep notes. Okay, so B, 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 S, pet. Um, 6520 ships removed. And I'll put double check marks that they were. They worked in Rusty Pet. Um. missing and I should know what position some ROMs second ROM from left produced Strange screen screen on rusty pet. Uh, let's see. Has paper. Uh, what else? Oh. Sticker on sign says it is not working. Um, Just further. All right. Oh. Not turn on at all yet. All right. So I'll fold this up. stick it under the front of the circuit board and that is what I'm doing with the machines that I have done things to that I've written notes on. I have an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. I write notes as I update them. I write notes. I fold them into um, in quarters and I stick them under the circuit board but not too far under the circuit board so I know where they are. I know what I did and I know supposedly What's going on? Supposedly. Oh, let me check the... Oh, yes. I can slow that down. 
Woo. So when you have an old pet, when weird things come up, don't fret. You may be one chip away from having things work. And definitely the 6520 chips deal with things going in, things going out, etc., etc., etc. And certainly if one is not there, things won't go well. And uh, But if there's one that's wonky, certainly the keyboard will do, can do strange things. Not necessarily always, but it can. So, this has gone well, I think, I think, I think, I think, little by little, more things are perhaps working. And the more things I have working, the more things I can test other things with and steal chips out of and test things, etc. I would very much like to get the BB BBS pet up and going again. But not today. So thanks for coming to this journey down memory lane in the world of Commodore. And uh, we'll do some more. We will. I'm just looking over towards things. And there's another small screen pet over there. Not one with a chiclet keyboard. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what isn't wrong with it. And thankfully, right next to me, down on the floor, I have put the 4032 with the big screen, which is good for testing universal boards, and also the, uh, the 4016 with the small screen, which is working. So I'm trying to test things, go through things, and keep track of what it is that I've done and have things available to test. So, let the games continue. Thanks so much for being here. I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.